We are here at the Spiro Clinic with Michelle, who's graduating today, and um, what an incredible journey. You've come so far. I'm so proud of you. You've worked your tail off <laughs> to get to where you're at now, and it shows. You've definitely made some amazing progress, and um, I'll let you kind of tell your story. From there. Okay, okay. Short and sweet. Okay, so a little over two years ago, I had a freak snow ski accident where I blew up both my knees, tearing both my MCLs and ACLs. Two weeks, about two weeks after my ski accident, I had surgery on my left knee, repairing the ACL or getting a new one. And then eight weeks later, I had to have it scoped and manipulated. I was doing the PT and everything that I was supposed to be doing, and I just wasn't recovering. I didn't understand what was going on with my body. I just knew that I'd never felt pain like this in my entire life, and it seemed that it was getting worse rather than better. And it was actually my knee surgeon that suspected something worse was going on with me. My left leg had started taking on an angry red purplish coloring and it was extremely mottled and shiny looking. It was at a checkup with him that had him referring me to a nerve and spinal specialist for what he called RSD. Once I met with the specialist, it was confirmed and I was diagnosed with RSD or as we know it's CRPS. We started out trying meds and when those didn't work, we started spinal injections. And after three or four of those over several months time, we did the trial and eventually the uh, surgery for the spinal cord stimulator. And then, so I was showing small improvements in that. It did help with like the red and purple and helped with small pain drops, but, but it just wasn't doing what it needed to do. And I was put back in PT, and, um, but I was getting to the point of losing even more function than my left leg. So I had that stimulator implant surgery the day before Christmas Eve of 2022. And then almost a year later, the day after Christmas, I started the Sparrow program. So I couldn't have done the last two years without my husband, Kenny. He fought for me, prayed for me, cried with me, and pushed me when I really just wanted to give up. He lived it with me every day, and he had to make a lot of sacrifices for me to be here, even though he wouldn't say that he did. My girls, Madison, Madison wasn't able to be here with me as much during treatment, but she was my nurse early on. She, I can't count the times that she had to wash my hair and help me in the bathroom and stuff. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> she was great. And then Kendra, my youngest, she's going to the U of A, so she was able to be here a little bit more. And she actually enjoyed going with me to NMR because I think that she liked hearing me squill and moan and, <laughs> and squirm and everything else. So it definitely made it easier doing the hard stuff when Kenny or the girls could be here. So I want to thank everybody here, um, my family, my church family, um, everybody here was always so encouraging. All the patients, all the, you guys were just another extension of family and it, it was just pretty special. That was one of the best treatments, honestly, too, was just sitting on these couches getting to visit with everybody here. So my mom and my mother-in-law and my little sister I need to think because they did a lot for us. Um, and then I've got to say a special thank you to Michelle Thompson. She was my go-to person before I started here when I was kind of looking at going here and even during the whole process, it, she texted me, checked up on me, prayed for me and I've just been so blessed by her friendship. And I thank Dr. K for what you've done and continue to do here. And thanks to, again, to everybody. I loved everybody here. Everybody just. It was amazing getting to hang out and do some of the treatments and, and laugh together. Um, let's see. Thank you, Dr. T, for being so caring. I'm going to miss our chats and our love of the same music. <laughs> um, and all the other doctors, everybody. Um, and lastly, Anna and Casey, who Casey also is known as the liar. <laughs> because you never believe her when she says that this is going to be the last one. Because it's always going to be followed with more. But you were a godsend to me. Um, and you were exactly what I needed. You pushed me in the best way possible. You kicked my butt daily. And I am eternally grateful to have had you. I'm so excited to have That's it. That's it. I'm ready. <laughs> Oh. This is for you. Oh.